ending portion of this so you can all see this. Is that your signature? It's like magic. Oh my goodness! Oh! Welcome back to my channel, MakeLab TV. In today's video, we're gonna try to figure out how did this happen? How was he able to tape the $100 bill on a piece of paper and predict those three jobs for the right person? All of this wrapped inside a beer bottle that Howie picked randomly. So, uh, this is going to be very interesting. It was very complicated to figure all of these things out, but I think together we'll be able step by step to figure it out. First of all, I want to uh, invite you to subscribe to my channel, leave a comment in the section below uh, and ask me uh, for any videos you would like for me to reveal any magic trick. I will do my best to do it and uh, let's jump into it. Okay. The first thing that I want to point out is the beer bottles. The beer bottles, they're actually, we can actually see on this uh, picture frame here that there are liquids in it. There is liquid in it, which means there is only one bottle there is no liquid in it, and that's the bottle that Aoi will pick. We're going to figure this out later. The second thing I want to point out is there is a lot and a lot of editing in this, uh, in this video. The footage is not full, okay? The first other thing I want to point out is this one here. It puts the $100 bill inside the envelope. Of a future. Which, okay, it's cool. But then a second later, boom, five envelopes appears. We didn't see where the envelope with the $100 bill went because of editing. And boom, five other envelopes appears. The second thing I want to show is here right here. Well. Okay, I want so you to pay attention on the left. I can take. On the left of this judge here, above the X, you can see there's the Tim Horton cup, but next to the Tim Horton, Tim Horton cup, there is absolutely nothing. And this is very, very important, okay? Because uh, we see that because there is editing and there will be something later and we'll find out that it was edited out. So he does the trick like usual. He makes them pick whatever thing they want. And I think they had a free choice of picking the envelope they wanted to pick. So this is not the trick here. They actually get a free choice. At first, I thought it was forcing certain card on them. But I don't think it's the case. I really truly believe they have a free choice. The only thing here to know is the $100 bill is definitely not inside one of those envelopes. It is not. So all judges pick uh, a job and everything. Here it is uh, right here. I don't know if you can see it. But there is now something on the table. We'll try to get another... Uh, you see the... the the cup that he's holding in his hand. So I'm actually going to go drop. back. I can, just so I can do this right there, he picks up what if it's your the thing that he's going to burn sorry, the envelope with. This he picked right in front of the judge. And as you can see, it's on the table. It was not there earlier. Let me try to get another uh, frame here. There we go. Wait. <laughs> Connection. Please don't fail me here. I'm gonna get it. One Lily, second. Look, Give me a second. Brown, One, I'm two, brown. three. We're gonna see Please it. Don't fail me here, okay? I'm really banking on you. Over your parents are like, yes, engineer, yes. Okay, sorry. Okay. Sorry about that. I'll try to get another. Okay, there it is. You see in front of this judge, this table was empty before, and now there's actually uh, some kind of cup or ceramic thing to burn the envelope eventually this was not there before and now it is so here is what happened in my opinion okay there is an assistant who brought this ceramic bowl there and this part was edited out we did not see it but somehow i believe that uh the magician probably sticked the envelope under the table in front of the judge near this place 
So when the assistant came to drop this ball there, he picked the $100 bill and went backstage with it. That's the part that we need to understand. So when the assistant came to drop this ball, he left with the $100 note. Okay, now let's go back to the trick. He's burning this. Okay. That's cool. Okay. And now, oh no, where's the $100 bill? Was it burned? No. Abi is freaking out. He burned my $100 bill. Now, here's the choice of the beer. How we pick a number between one to six. How we speaking number four. And here is how he counts. Look at this. He picks number four. That's that's uh, four. that's actually funny. Look at this. One. Number four. And he counts one, two, three, four. To end up to the bottle where there is no liquid in it. Or if there is liquid in it that's the only one with something in it but look at this he could have counted one two three if, let's say he counts uh he count he, he, let's say how he would have picked three he could have just went like this one two and three let's see pick two he would have started from the back here where i went one two he would have picked five he would have been one two three four five so no matter what number how we would have picked it would have ended up on the same beer bottle very simple simple way of forcing a beer bottle which he does and then they're actually he's like okay here it is there is something that my prediction is in there i'm gonna break it now here's the other part okay where is the armor coming from where is this setup the the black thing here well, look at this. Oh, dang. I don't know if we... Let me try to get a better view of this. We see it here, but I'm not sure if you actually see it. No, you don't. Uh, let, me, let me try that. Like this. All right. Right here. We see it. The guy, the assistant, giving him the material. For him to break the bottle okay so what happens is the assistant comes back with the the material to break the bottle and what does he bring he brings back the prediction with the 100 dollar note that he gave him earlier all wrapped up together already ready so whatever you see in the beer bottle is actually not the same piece of paper that is going to show later okay the new piece of paper is already inside the material so whenever the magician breaks up the bottle it's right now right there the piece of paper is already inside and the other piece of paper that was inside the beer bottle stays inside there okay it just picks up the new piece of paper that outside backstage was filled and prepared by the assistant with the right prediction and everything so as simple as that i don't know how obvious okay this can be it's a it's a, an assistant job the assistant did a great job by picking up the one dollar note went backstage filled up all the information came back but uh yeah that's what i believe happened if you don't agree with me let me know in the comments section below i will happily read your comments if you think there is another way you could have done it well feel free to comment as well subscribe to my channel Thanks for watching, have a great day.